from me and sleep a bit. <laughs> Welcome to this week's weekly vlog. I am so excited because it is Friday and I am very shortly going to be heading down to London. I am working this weekend with the wonderful cat on her Wild Woman's Day retreat and then the Soul Sanctuary meetup and then the inversion workshop. So it's going to be an epic weekend. So I have got everything packed, ready to go and I'm just going to pop everything inside the bag now but I just thought I would show you what things I will be taking with me. So I am very excited to be using my new Sweaty Betty Ash Pink gym bag and then outfit wise I have got these Ash Pink leggings as well so they kind of like match the bag and I'm going to actually wear it with the bra that I've got on now and that's Saturday's outfit and then on Sunday I've got the grey leggings and Kat's beautiful little crop top I'm going to wear with that bra underneath. They're Ollie's boxers and t-shirt to sleep in <laughs> so taking those with me and then pants and then I have also got the all-in-one bodysuit not too sure whether I'm going to wear that or not, but I just thought I'll just take that one uh, in case I change my mind. And then I've got my makeup bag, toiletries bag, and just those other bits like cable, um, charging cables, my very old GHD straighteners. I am going to be getting some new ones soon, hopefully, because they are very old. I think I got them when I was like 18. I am now 33 soon going to be 34 <laughs> and then my hoodie which I'm going to be wearing and then I have got my iPad to pack in as well because I read on my iPad so that is everything and I would totally fit this little dude in if I could but um he's going to be staying here with his dad this weekend so they're going to be having a boys weekend which they're very excited about So I am all packed, ready to go, but is is not very happy with me. Um, all packed, ready to go. I had some brunch earlier and feeling full, so that'll keep me going <laughs> until later while I'm driving. And I have made myself one of the Bish Ready Ice Peach Ice Teas to drink with me in the car. I'm just gonna head to go and see my grandma and my mum, and then need to go and pick some things up for the weekend and then I will be heading down to London. from an incredible weekend in, in London. It was just amazing from start to finish and it was really nice to spend time with Kat as well. And, you know, we we stayed in a beautiful hotel and went out for some delicious meals, just had lots of delicious food as well. And yeah, I got back, but then didn't go home. I've actually come to my mum's house and I am looking after my grandma for a couple of days. I'm actually in my old bedroom right now which looks very different from when I was in here. Um, but yeah, in my old bedroom. And 
so yeah, just looking after grandma and it's just lovely to spend time with her. Like I always love spending time with her. And so yeah, I was in London then for two nights, here for two nights, and then I will be heading to Norfolk for a couple of nights, spending time with um with Ollie and with my family as well. So that'd be be really nice. Because I've been like here, there and everywhere, that can sometimes lead me in the past feeling quite ungrounded and I would say there's times when I have felt ungrounded just because I like to have that time to kind of get organized and get grounded in the space wherever I am and I think because I'm like going on to like from here I'll be going off to Norfolk and I'm like I really just just do with some of that time at home just to ground and tidy up and things but it is what it is but I kind of think about the things that I can control and that is like doing other things that can make me feel grounded and that is by doing my my morning routine and ritual i've just shown up a little different so i actually didn't do most of my morning routine yesterday because i was just feeling really tired from the weekend and actually decided the best thing that i needed right there and then was to have more rest in bed and that is then like showing up as like your highest vibrational self is to then listen to how you feel and give yourself what you need it's not about being rigid and strict with routine but like yeah how do I feel what do I need and then today I did my I did do my morning routine but which is a little different I didn't do as long as I would normally do in meditation in asana in bar uh, but yeah I still did it and I got my ticks in in my planner so yeah happy with that and yeah just kind of like just enjoying just being out of routine really like I'm still doing bits of work while I'm here and then I'm gonna have like two full days off when we're away and yeah it's nice like it's just lovely like spending that time with my grandma as well and just like relaxing and chilling and grandma loves to go to bed early which just makes me so happy <laughs> and um yes yeah, so it's just been it's been it's been really lovely and so next time I pick up vlogging in this vlog, I will be um we'll go on our way to, to Norfolk and I'll take you with me then. After what has been a wonderful time in in Norfolk, we weren't actually there for that long. We went on Tuesday night, got there late Tuesday night, was there then yesterday, which was Wednesday, and then this morning, Thursday morning, like left early uh, to to be home for for work, and even just going away for that short bit of time 
was really nourishing for my soul and it was just wonderful to spend time with Ollie, my family and family friends and just being by, by um, going to the beach and yeah, just, just living life. And I think sometimes we don't go away for when it's like that short bit of time and we feel quite like put off from it because we kind of think, well, what's the point in going to like all that way if you're not going to be there for, for very long? But yeah, don't underestimate like how powerful it, it can be. And I'm glad that we did it. This week has been very all over the place, really. Like I probably haven't felt very grounded at times, but that's just understandable because I have literally been like here, there and everywhere. So started off the well, the weekend I was in London, then came back to Nottingham, but didn't stay at home, been with my grandma. And then we went to Norfolk and then up from home. And then tonight I'm going to go back and be with my grandma again. And then be back at home tomorrow and then back into like normal routine. So yeah, just like had to, it's just like one of those weeks with how things have gone. And, but I, knowing that then that would leave me feeling ungrounded with that, like I knew that feeling was coming. I had made sure that in, I, I've, I've still shown up in the best way that I can. And so added in things that do make me feel grounded. Like I've still tried to make sure that I've done my meditation and asana, even did some bar workouts while I was away. And still just on those things, but just showing up differently. So it means that like I only I didn't meditate for as long, I didn't do my asana for as long. And there were still like times, there's still gaps in my little to-do list, in my in my habit tracker, in my tick list. There are gaps in there and I'm 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 okay with that. I think it's important that we're 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 gentle with ourselves when, you know, and not be so rigid and fixed because like I say, like life happens and we need to learn to go with the flow of things rather than being so fixed and rigid. So I, yeah, I knew, I knew that that, that would happen really. But um, yeah, anyway, so I'm just going to take some time to ground now to get things unpacked and have something to eat. And then I have got a online one-to-one this afternoon, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, just need to take that time to also make sure that I'm grounded and, you know, fueled with food and goodness, ready, ready to give out in that session. I thought I would share with you the lovely things that I got from Norfolk yesterday. We had a wonderful time just going into loads of cute and lovely little local shops. And so I thought I'd share those things with you. But I also found a beautiful palm leaf that my mom very kindly bought for me. And we put it in the the seats behind us on our way back, but it was getting a little bit squashed. So Ollie put it in the in the boot. It was like a truck. So it was in the here's like where you sit, and there's like the the truck bit. And he he put it in there. I had lots of other stuff, and that was all fastened up. But what wasn't fastened up was the the shutter bit that goes along the top. It's come undone. And when we pulled up, my palm tree, my palm leaf wasn't there. So it's blown out on the way back home from um, from Norfolk. I actually thought Ollie was um, was messing around with me and was joking because when he get got up to get it out, it was like it's not there, and I was like, "You're just having me on. You're just joking." Which means it's like not there. It's like it's not there. It must have like blown out. The the shutters come off, and um, so I felt very sad that my palm leaf didn't make it back home from from Norfolk. I honestly thought that like he was joking because he kept saying to me, "What you've actually bought that? Like it's it's a dried leaf, it's a dead leaf." And I'm like, "Just look how beautiful it is!" And um, so yeah, so I thought he was having me on. He wasn't. He actually lost it on the way home from Norfolk. Um, but anyway, I'll show you the lovely little bits that I got. I am feeling 
all the high vibrations. I have just finished an online one-to-one, -one, which is a new offering that I have only recently put out. I've been doing one-to-ones at the studio for a long while now, and they my one-to-ones are off the mat. They are not asana practices done on the yoga mat. It is all about diving into yoga philosophy. And really using and working with how yoga philosophy can help us live a yoga inspired life, yoga inspired lifestyle, and how it can really help us surf the waves of modern day life. And with doing the one-to-one, -one, like the online one-to-one, -to -one, a two hour like deep dive into it, we're incredibly then personal and unique because it is like working on a one-to-one -one level. So like I'm literally like meeting you where you are at in your life and yeah, just sharing how yoga philosophy can help. Yeah, so just feeling really, really happy because that is like, I feel so aligned in, in, in what I'm doing. And I've said it many times before, it's yoga philosophy that transformed my life and really helped me then create my life as it is right now through that. It wasn't through the asanas on, on the mat. And don't get me wrong, that's still an important part of, of my practice as well. But yeah, it's the, it's the philosophy side that I just get so passionate about sharing and helping people with. That's where I see the transformation is when I help people through that. So if you kind of, maybe, maybe you're feeling a little bit curious about thinking whether it is for you or not, obviously it is an investment of your, your time, your energy, your financial resources as well. And if you're not sure, then I do offer a 15 minute free chat, yoga chat and a cup of tea. You'll have to get the cup of tea yourself because you know, can't do that through Zoom, but it's, it's, it's free and it's 15 minutes. So it's like, what have you got to, to lose? And the, the deep dive into the one-to-one -one might not be might not be for you or where you're at on your journey right now. That is absolutely okay. Um, but yeah, like what have you got to lose? If it's not for you, no bad vibes. It's just free 15 minutes of your time. <sighs> so yeah, <laughs> I am just having a bit of time before I head down to the studio to teach my two classes this evening. I'm just having a cup of caramel tea in my beautiful and cute new mug from Norfolk and I just thought I'd kind of share my insight and just reflections and thoughts from from the week this this week like from like Friday from Friday to now has been very different from my normal routine and structure and I'm someone who loves routine and structure and it has been a high vibrational week full of amazing things. It's been, it's been so, so wonderful. And I just thought I would share with you how, when we have these different kinds of weeks compared to like our normal weeks, how we, if we just let go of that pressure that we maybe place on ourselves and kind of just go with the flow more. And actually this is when we can really practice being more flexible with our routines and structures and just show up then slightly differently. So even like when I go away, I being grounded is a really important thing for me. And so I would still make sure that then I still do things that then ground me. It's really important. They still have that, that feature within everyday life, but just also recognizing that they are going to look different. And there might be times throughout those days when I don't show up oh well, I do still show up but then I, I might actually then not do them but it is still I've intentionally not done them so Monday I it was the day after coming back from working in London and I was then spent the, most of the day was with my grandma all day and I decided to have I'm sure I mentioned this earlier in the vlog as well I, I decided to have more time in bed and I actually then just did some reading and journaling. I didn't do any of my, I'm looking down at my planner here. Like I didn't do my asthma meditation. I didn't do a bar. I didn't go out for a walk and I didn't practice Spanish. And they're all my, the, my part of my morning routine and ritual. And I'm okay with that. Like I, that I still showed up in a high vibrational way because I showed up for the version of myself 
on Monday and in a way that I needed to be. It was really slow, it was really grounding and I just didn't need to make sure I didn't ask too much of myself. And then Tuesday was completely different. I did everything except for going for a walk. So Bert on, it's because I've been like all over, I recognize actually that when I'm with Bert, that is when I do make sure that I get outside and go for a walk. He is definitely like a common theme within this week. And he, um, so yeah, so Tuesday did everything except for that. Wednesday, I did everything except for bar. And then on Thursday, today, I've done everything except for go for a walk because Bert is with my sister and my grandma today. And so yeah, it's just it's just been like very different. And the days when I've actually shown up and done asana meditation and, and the bar and even doing like my Spanish practice, it's literally been minutes at a time. And yeah, that's because it it's a reflection of what was happening through, throughout that day. And I'm very much looking forward to then spending the rest of the week grounding again. And after, t- well, tonight I'm, I'm um, with my grandma again tonight, but then from tomorrow, like kind of be more back into, into routine. So I'm making sure I'm not waiting until Monday. And, but yeah, showing up then again with some more normality. And I've actually made sure that because I've had a week of doing it's been very yang energy still all wonderful things but it's still been very much yang i knew that i need to have a really slow and peaceful weekend so from saturday afternoon there is nothing planned in my diary until monday and yeah so i'm, I'm really proud of myself that i recognize that i need to add that balance into the week and i've made sure that i have not planned anything in whereas once upon a time I would have still then filled the weekend with things to do. So yeah, the weekend's going to be like that time to really tap into yin energy, really let myself be. I actually planned to do some filming this afternoon, had every intention. I was like, I could do my one-to-one, do some filming and then head down to the studio. But my energy levels have dropped and I kind of in thinking like, you know what, I don't have then the, I, I could do the filming and I could do my classes, but I won't be giving the best of myself. And that's not fair on, on, on other people. Like they deserve to then have the best of me when I when I teach in, in, in my classes and uh, whether that's online or in the studio. So yeah, that's why I thought, you know what? I'm gonna sit, have a cup of tea and I'll, I'm gonna do the filming tomorrow, like tomorrow morning. I don't ever normally film this late anyway in the day for that reason that my energy is is low. So yeah i'm going to have that cup of tea and so i'm going to wrap up this vlog now and then the next time that i see you will be in next week's vlog and i will have then had that time to to rest very in kind of weekend um recharge i'm not going to do any vlogging over the weekend and but then i'll pick it back up again on monday so as well that you get to have like the best of me um, but yeah, it, anyway, it's, it's all that's going to be happening on Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be very slow vibes. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And I can't wait for them. But um, yeah, thank you so much, as always, for hanging out with me. And I shall see you next week for another weekly vlog.